Hello YouTube, take 428,212. Just an update from Fountain Creek Wood Art Studios. Anyhow, this is a book I got a few years ago called The Art of the Fillmore. Uh, the Fillmore used to put on rock concerts over there in the West Coast. Eventually they had a Fillmore on the East Coast, but that's not the thing I'm talking about. It's the artwork they did here. And at the time in 1966 and 67, I thought this artwork was really cool. Of course, I was going to high, junior high school and the teachers always thought I was diagramming sentences, which made no sense to me anyhow. Instead, I was doing stuff like this, well, attempting to. Anyhow, apparently the art teacher missed me too. But anyhow, I thought that was really cool how these artists were really pushing the limits and challenging each other to come up with some crazy stuff. And eventually, like all good things, it went away. But the art here, I think, is pretty much timeless. And my first merit badge in Boy Scouts was art. My second merit badge was astronomy. But either, either way, this artwork is just outstanding, if you ask me. So that's done. This is a piece of wood I got from a remodeling job. It was the kicker board from a buddy's house. So I sent it off all the finishes, the paint and so forth, and did my accent work to it. I had enough of this where I could do the uh, kickboard on the front porch, and I've got enough left over where I can do the bathroom with this stuff. So that's that. So I screw around while I'm waiting for paint to dry. And these are a few things I've done while I've been waiting for paint to dry. Uh, this was some MDF. I put my accents onto it. Then I uh, did some spray painting with the airbrush and topped it off with metal flakes. You can see some metal flakes here and there. And I'm gonna put some clear coat on it. Maybe I'll turn it into a serving tray. It was just something I was doing while I was waiting for paint to dry. This is a 16th inch piece of plywood. Yeah, it's old wood. And I kind of like somehow the grain was still prominent in there. I'm not sure what's going to happen to this. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to turn this into a serving tray or maybe something you can hang up on the wall. I got a lot more work to do to it, but I think it's uh, kind of cool at this stage. So like I said, astronomy was my second merit badge. So here's the astronomy stuff. Once again, I do this stuff while I'm waiting for the paint to dry. I'm working on real projects. And you'll see where this is going to come together here in just a moment or two. And da da, and da da. I think I'm going to make these guys look like they're at war or something, so we'll leave it at that. Anyhow, I picked up this end table, nightstand, whatever you want to call it, at a local thrift store. <clears throat> it was in okay shape when I bought it. it. wasn't in bad shape, wasn't in good shape, but I noticed that these little screws or nails that kept the uh, shelves together were coming loose. Well, I couldn't have that with my artwork. So I uh, took out all the screws and so forth, or there I should say, nails, and put wood screws in there so it's more structurally sound now than when I bought it. And of course there's a lot of unfinished surfaces, surfaces like you can't see up there, or down here, or on the bottom, but I put some uh, paint on there so it looks better. And I'm going to like accent these things here, my little burns. All right. And this was the kickboard that went in front. And I says, I really don't like that. Even after I did my accent work to it. So I dug around and I found me this here chunk of wood. And it's going to replace that kicker board 
in the front it's going to go down here and along the sides and I'm not sure what color it's going to be till I got it all assembled and the main body of the thing done and like I said before it's more structurally sound now than when I bought this old end table and of course I oh, dang it I bought these slider things here to put on the bottom so it doesn't damage my artwork or the floor. <clears throat> now you open up your basic end table nightstand and the door looks boring on the inside, right? Oh, not anymore because we're going to have this. I think I'm just going to put on a little more yellow and we're going to call the inside of the door good. Along with the end table, you look inside and whoa, there's nothing there because I got the backer board right here. So when you open it up, you're gonna be seeing this stuff here. Uh, kinda cool. And then on the back side of these end tables, it's all kinda boring and brown and black. So you stick them up there against the back of the wall because it's so boring. Oh, you can put this in the middle of the floor and this side will be what you see from the outside. So, I think a little bit of clear coat on this, I'll call it good. And like I said, a few yellows here and some clear coat, and that'll be good. Oop, excuse me. Here's the top of this end table. And I'm going to do some uh, highlight stuff here to the paint here on the top. And then I think I'm going to do, excuse me, something like that. Or something like that's going to go on the top here along with these channels here. So this is something I put together, been working on it for a day or two. I'm going to take it up to Dick Blick Art Supplies in Omaha. It was a piece of a three-quarter inch pine wood shelving. Of course, I cleaned it up real good. <clears throat> then I uh, did my accent work to it and then put in some fluorescent colored paints and then topped it off with uh, some polyurethane and we're gonna call that good. And I put some hangers on here so you can hang it in the wall in a couple orientations and I'm going to start coughing here, and editing isn't my thing here. So that all being said, I've had enough. And thanks for coming by, and there'll be an update coming soon on some other projects I'm working on. Thanks for coming by.